Tyler Pierce is here from Blunt Memorial, or Blunt Memorial Hospital, I should say, with some ways that you can boost your immunity this holiday season. Everyone is getting to that season where you're, you're about to get sick. So you got you to take some yeah, precautions. Mother the, nature's medicine, right? That's right. That's right. We're going to use food for an, at our advantage. So, you know, we can do those things like wash our hands and get, sleep well. Those yeah. two things are very important. Get your flu shot, stuff like that. <laughs> but, you know, food is medicine, too. So vitamin C gets touted a lot for uh, immune function, too. So make sure you get enough vitamin C. I think in the wintertime, it's sometimes we don't eat as many fruits, vegetables, okay. and things like totally that, too. Totally agree. So put it in your soups and maybe an omelet or something like that. Spinach goes well in eggs. You know, your red pepper could, too. Uh, or just slice it up. It's really yeah. good to just have. That's what I had in my eggs this morning was a pepper yeah. and some spinach. Yeah. So vitamin C, but there's lots of, you know, of course, in the orange, too. Vitamin D is a really good one, um, and you mentioned we're going to see some vitamin D on sun, or Saturday, yeah, hopefully. a little bit more sunshine. And that's the, one, that's the one vitamin we just don't get enough of in the wintertime, and mm -hmm. hmm, we get a cold and flu season during that time, too. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's pr oh, probably a link there. So getting vitamin D enough from your diet is a little challenging. Yeah. I don't have all the great sources here today, but... Things like salmon, tuna, mackerel yeah. have pretty rich sources as well, so try to incorporate that. And uh, don't throw away that yolk in your egg because that has a little bit of vitamin D in it okay. as well, so eat the yolk. Uh, mushrooms, depending on if they've been um, exposed to UV light or not, can have some. And it'll say on the package whether it's high in vitamin D okay. or not. So uh, mushrooms could be an option. And milk's about 100 milligrams of, or 100 international units of vitamin D, and we need about 1,000 a day. So oh my gosh. if you drink one glass a day, it's not going to cut it. So maybe talk to your doctor about a supplement. Sometimes I know I supplement during this time of year. Yeah, just when, because. when our yeah. little girl was born, we gave her vitamin D as that's a supplement. Right. So. That's right. So also um, fermented food. So you got your yogurt. So 70% of our gut or uh, immune cells are in our gut. So, really? yeah, so it's important to kind of keep those healthy bacteria Ugh. happy during this time of year, too. So, so it's kind of just one of our barriers. So, too. yogurt has yogurt is fermented. Yes, yeah. So, you've got yogurt. I like kefir because it's more concentrated, it has more strains of okay. bacteria. Uh, you can do kombucha. That, is that milk? It is a yogurt, kind of a yogurt oh, okay, gotcha. mixed with buttermilk. We could have that up here on t the, the stage, too. But, um, that's another Kombucha, one. Kombucha, which, you know, nice little beverage. Yeah. Wired taste. And it actually in incorporates the next one, too, the tea. And sauerkraut, kimchi, if you're into those types of mm. foods, too, can be incorporated to help your gut. I'm going to, so if you don't, do or tea would be the fourth one. So okay. I think black, green tea, it doesn't matter. The people that drink that regularly, at least three to five cups a day, can see a reduction in What about their unsweetened tea? Unsweetened is best. Okay. Yeah. yeah so. Try and avoid all that sweet yes. tea if you can. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to make a quick one. Now, you've probably heard of Medicine Ball yeah, at Starbucks. Starbucks. It's on yeah. the secret menu. They also have something called Citrus Defender, too. So I'm just going to do the Medicine Ball for you. And what it is is two tea bags of the mint green tea. Who would have thought it? So I've had this before, and honestly, it really yeah. does make you feel better. But who would have thought it would be so easy to make it? I home? know. It is actually easy. Of course, if you're out and about shopping, it's nice to have it yeah. you know, there. But if you're really sick, stay home yeah. <laughs> so, and, and make it at home. So I've got two bags of the peach tea and then a mint green tea. Okay. And that was a cup and a half of hot water, and here's a cup and a half of lemonade. And I use the light lemonade. Do so you heat up the lemonade, or does it? Yeah, does it you get heated. I heated it up. And then just a little bit of honey to taste, and honey can be kind of helpful for coughs yes. too. So if it'll come out, okay. We're just um, going to pretend. You know, pretend the yeah, pretend in there. it's in there. But uh, it can kind of thin those secretions if mm. you're like, having that, a lot of mucus, you know. So, oh, so it can be very uh, just nourishing for yeah. you at this time of year. Well, Heather, so. thank you so much for all you're of these welcome. great, great tips. And we're going to have all this information over on our website. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if you have a case of the sniffles, you can run out, make one of these, or go and buy one of these.